Another exchange of fire between Israel and Gaza took place during the night, putting a fragile truce at risk. Calm seems to reign over the area, which remains on high alert, though, amid one of the most dangerous crises in recent months. At least two rockets were fired from Gaza against southern Israel in the middle of the night, putting the already shaking ceasefire agreement at risk. The Israeli Defense Forces retaliated, striking several targets inside the Strip. The Israeli defense system Iron Dome intercepted the missiles over the city of Ashkelon. Hamas and other armed factions in Gaza denied responsibility for the launch, saying it was the work of an individual. If this is indeed confirmed, it means Gaza's arsenal is hostage to individual initiatives which could potentially start a war. After the overnight flare-up, calm reigns now over the area. After a meeting with his security cabinet, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had warned armed factions in Gaza. I can tell you, we are prepared to do a lot more. We will do what is necessary to defend our people and to defend our state. The Israeli Defense Forces had enhanced their presence along the Gaza border, sending more tanks and infantry. Israel's chief of staff summoned additional reserve soldiers. The UN Secretary General has expressed concern over the situation and called for peace. We were clear in the condemnation of the rocket attack, but now we believe it's absolutely necessary to avoid any scaling up and to have restraint. And our appeal is for restraint in the present moment for the people not to suffer even more, both in Israel and in Gaza and in Palestine. The Israeli civil defense has lifted restrictive measures for citizens living near Gaza. But after a heavy exchange of fire on Monday, the situation remains tense and fluid. Israel and Gaza faced the most dangerous crisis since November 2018, when Hamas had discovered an Israeli commando inside Gaza and launched the hundreds of rockets in response. Residents in southern Gaza feel threatened. It's not pleasant. It's scary. People are scared. Kids are scared. They are traumatized and frustrated of this whole situation. Fear. Fear, just fear. Everybody is afraid. We don't sleep well at night and we get out to work because we have no choice. May God help us. The Israeli election on April the 9th has put Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu under pressure. He has often been criticized for being too soft in handling Hamas. And critiques are from the very same right wing which Netanyahu needs on board if he wants to win a fifth term. Their position is well expressed by the hawkish education minister, Neftali Bennett. If it's up to me, as defense minister of the state of Israel, uh, if I get that job, uh, I'll open gates of hell on this uh, terror organization of Hamas and uh, fix the situation once and for all. The calm currently reigning over Gaza and southern Israel is definitely very fragile. An intelligence team hailing by Egypt is expected to reach Gaza in order to talk to Hamas and other Palestinian factions and convince them to exercise more control on their arsenal in order to avoid individual military adventurism which could cost the Strip a war. On the other side of the border, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is under tremendous pressure. Citizens in the southern Israeli city of Ashkelon took to the street to protest what they consider non-action against Hamas and Gaza. They don't feel safe and they want the Prime Minister to do more. And the same thing has been said by the former Israeli Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman, who decided to resign in November during one of the harshest crises between Israel and Gaza. And from the right wing in Israel as well, there is a lot of criticism about how Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has handled his relations with Gaza. This is something that the Prime Prime Minister of Israel needs to address if he wants to stand 
a chance in the upcoming Israeli election. Daniele Pagani reporting from Jordan for Vion World is One.